So this morning I woke up to this. I went to bed really early last night, so I didn't get this. Even if I had, I wouldn't have called in, I wouldn't have gone on his show. And I'm not going to watch it. Who the fuck has six plus hours to give to this idiot? To run down his rabbit holes? Because that's what this is. He gives you so much disinformation. And so many people for so long just suck it up. Oh my god, it's gospel. And they'll run you around in circles until you get tired of it. And then you quit. And you stop. And that's their game. That's their game. And this dude will dote on every word I have to say. But when I tell you that I could not give a fuck less what this dude has to say, that I think he's a liar and there's nothing he says that I find valid, it is a complete understatement. You know, complete. I have other things that I'm having to deal with. Like this shit. Because this is where I fucking live. This is the state that they quote Himmler in the schools. And he's right. Trump is going to win Iowa. Just keep that fascist bullshit coming along. Because they fucking want Trump as a dictator. And uh, he's not, Trump is not lying about this. You use that Hitler shit and they love you for it. There's a lot of differences between me and my opposition. There's, I mean, other than the fact that they're full of murderers and pedophiles and pedophile protection squad members and just the dregs of fucking society. But there's an army of them. Just me. I'm the one who has to fight an army of them. I would have quit this coming back from Washington. When I moved to Iowa, I had every intention of quitting. But Lucian Greaves, founder of the Satanic Temple, when I got to Iowa, was sending me emails laughing that they were already set up waiting for me. Fucking Shelby County, Iowa Sheriff Neil Gross knows that because I was sending him all of the emails. And then when I asked him about it, he told me, we can't tell you where those emails are from, so there's nothing we can do. And then they blew up that fucking gas station. And the same shit, you know? Neil loves Nazis. That's why he fucking works with them. Because let me tell you, what I'm dealing with is fighting a bunch of satanic Nazi pedophiles who are running a pedophile ring and if I seem a little bit irritated I am because I asked for donations just to see what would happen and I did get a handful of donations and from those people I completely appreciate it but it equaled about $300 it did allow me to get another printer so I am able I've been able to start my second book but uh Gabe Hoffman, who is Corey Daniels, Phoenix Enigma's boss, who runs an open secret, he fucking does it, and people send him millions of dollars. Craig Sawyer, Russ Dizdar, all of the other disinfo agents, they can ask for money, and fuck, people can't wait to send them enough. But real survivors come out and ask, and crickets, crickets, a handful of people, a handful of people. And it's not about the money. It's about the fact that being on the front lines of this, on the battle lines, you end up feeling alone. You feel like no one cares and you're battling this shit alone. And that is exactly how I feel in this shit. In my real life, I have all kinds of people who love me. But they want me out of this shit because they don't think it's worth it. And personally, me, if you ask me, the majority of you, they could murder every fucking kid there is. Pile the goddamn bodies all the way to the gates of fucking heaven. And none of you would care enough to get involved. You know, you'd have some reason. Oh, if anybody asks you if you care. Oh, I care. I care. How dare you ask me if I care? 
but your actions don't match your words, you know? And that's the whole reason why Fiona Barnett got out of this. Yeah, she's controversial, but I was there. After Cappy got thrown off that bridge, Fiona asked for help, and no one came to help her. No one helped, and they kill us financially. You know, if they're not trying to get protection orders out on me, and they're not trying to fucking murder me by blowing up gas stations and stuff like that, they annihilate you financially. And at the end, she just said, no one gives a fuck. They're just sitting back, entertained. And that's what I see. Isaac did what he did. Then he got murdered. And for four years, nothing happened. Now I'm here trying to get the whole situation set up. And uh, I have all these people. Oh, he's going for Cappy. He's going for Cappy. I feel like I am a TV program. And the minute they kill me with their directed energy weapons, everyone will just turn the station. And you want to know what? I don't see anybody on the front lines of this. I don't. I don't see anybody on the front lines of this. No one real anyway. And, uh, and they are killing me financially. I'll leave my name, my PayPal, my Venmo, you know, Help would be great, but I certainly am not having high expectations on it. Um, but yet, I will stay in this because it is the right thing to do. But no one who gets involved with this wants to do any of this. It's not pleasant. It's not fulfilling. You end up getting fucking trashed and thrown away. Max Spears. Lori King, Isaac Cappy, those are just the three that I know of, but there's a whole long list of people. Or you can go after Corey Daniels and end up dropping over of a heart attack. What, there's three people who went after Corey Daniels? And all three of them coincidentally dropped over of heart attacks. Maybe it has something to do with those directed energy weapons. You know? But I'm going to stay in this because it's the right thing to do. I'm going to try and get this investigated because it's the right thing to do. I'm going to stand, take a stand and stand against this because it's the right thing to do. But I also know in many ways, I stand alone. The only, the only ones on my side are the ones on the other side in heaven. And so... I do this because of God. Because like I said, they could murder every... Ohio is a perfect example. A thousand kids are missing. And exactly what is anyone doing about it other than talking about it online? You know? Perfect example. Perfect example. And that's just one case. Just one. There's a myriad of others. And... My job is not to tell you what you need to do. You need to figure it the fuck out yourself. I'm not a goddamn cult leader. I'm not going to tell you what to think. I'm just giving you the information and hoping that you have the critical reasoning skills to actually figure it out. And on that note, one last thing. I'm not fucking Johnny Gosh. Any more than Jeff Gannon was Johnny Gosh. The minute Johnny Gosh got well known in the national media, they fucking murdered him. Why do you think that they would risk their fucking enterprise over one kid? That makes sense to you, does it? I'm not fucking Johnny Gosh, you know? And the shit that I have to fucking argue in this is frustrating. So, that's this video. I'm going to stay involved in this. but And I would appreciate any help anyone wants to give. But I'm not holding my breath. Because I would die of asphyxiation if I did.